Her heart is pumping. Her pulse rate spikes. She gasps and then wakes up. Beads of sweat make their way down her forehead. A dream. A dream? She's puzzled. She taps Paul. Baby, wake up. I just had a dream. Paul rolls over. A dream, he says, almost sleep talking. A dream. Wait, what? A dream? She has his attention now. He's fully awake. We're not supposed to have dreams, Sarah. I know, I know. Well, did you get your unit checked? We talked about this yesterday. I know. Things got crazy at work, and I didn't get around to it. You think work was crazy? Wait till Sophie picks up on the fact that you are dreaming. I don't think you understand how that complicates our lives. I know, Paul, I know. I felt so alive, though. I was being chased by lions. It got pretty intense. I, I, I need to go back to bed, Sarah. The greed needs me fully optimized in the morning. Get your unit checked. Paul rolls back to his hibernation position and then falls asleep. <sighs> Paul doesn't get me. You see, Sarah had met Paul on the suggestion of Sophie. Sophie had done all the permutations, and Paul and Sarah, together, was optimal. A few years ago, our planet was on the edge of calamity. Global warming was spiraling out of control, species were getting extinct, and the Earth needed a solution. Chat GPT had been introduced a decade before, but Sophie was the upgrade, and she came up with the solutions that were necessary to keep the human race going. Everyone defaults to Sophie now. She's our leader. She knows the way. She communicates to our units and she seeks optimization at all costs. That's why we don't dream. It is not optimal for our conscious states and it does not benefit the grid. It's been six weeks now. Sarah still has not gotten her unit checked. The dreams are getting more and more intense and she absolutely loves it. At the dining table, Paul asks her how her day was over a plate of spaghetti and greens. My day was, we are the SOT, comply and open the door. Paul darts a look at Sarah. What did you do? I didn't do anything. What did you do, Sarah? I didn't do, Sarah, the Sophie squad is at our door. You think they just want to have some of this spaghetti? What did you do? I'm sorry, babe. I've been dreaming for six weeks. Six weeks? You know what? It's fine. Stay cool. We'll be fine. Paul goes and opens up the door. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. We're here for a routine optimization check. We've had several anomaly reports about possible residents here. Anomaly reports? Interesting. That has to be a mistake. Well, that's why we're here. To clear up the mistake. Line up your unit. The officer takes out a meter and places it behind Paul's ear. You'll see we're in good shape. Well, yeah, it'll take a couple of minutes. Madam, please stand. Sarah's visibly nervous. The meter is placed behind her ear. Now we wait, Paul says. Have a seat. The senior officer who took the reading has a seat. The other two officers are at the door like prison guards. So. Tell us about these anomaly reports. Surely there has to be a good explanation. Well, we got a report from Sarah's office. Her work has been slacking over the past few days and her manager mentioned that she's been smiling a bit more than required. Paul's face got serious as he looks over at Sarah. Sarah avoids eye contact. Well, Sarah, your optimization is 95%. A bit low, but nothing a little calibration can fix. Mr. Paul, your optimization is 70. He's got a- Paul, what did you do? I don't have time to explain, but we have to leave. You just shot three SOT officers. I know, Sarah. Look at me. We do not have time. We are leaving. Your optimization was 70. 70, Paul. What is happening? Paul walks out of the dining area into their bedroom and returns with two small suitcases. His phone rings. We're coming down. Keep the car running. Sarah, it's time to go. Sarah is still in shock. We gotta go, babe. 
I'll explain everything in the car. You see, Paul had been dreaming too, for a while now. And by a while, I mean a year. He had met people who had opened his eyes. Sophie was optimal, but Sophie was AI's version of subjugating the masses to meet her end. Sophie was alive. Now Sarah is now unwittingly a member of the resistance. Will they prevail and rescue humanity? The story is yet to unfold.